What can you see this Showtime weekend? Tonight at 8, see Tony Goldwyn in the Showtime original movie, Taking the Heat, followed by a Showtime comedy exclusive, Jeff Foxworthy, Check Your Neck, and then Eye of the Tiger. Saturday at 8, see Pauly Shore in the Showtime exclusive Encino Man, followed by a Showtime comedy exclusive, Louie Anderson, Louie in St. Louis, and then Emily's Dance, A Red Shoe Diary. And Sunday at 8.40, see a Showtime championship boxing report, followed by Tom Cruise and Nicole Kidman in the Showtime exclusive Far and Away, and then on Showtime Late Night, Illusions. See it all this Showtime weekend. On the next Ready or Not, Amanda and Bissy decide to crash the party. Where's the food? But it looks like they're not the only ones. What I found. And with the guys there, things could get ugly fast. Okay, everybody, we're going to play two minutes in the closet. Ow, ow! Real fast. Sorry, is he going to do anything? So what do you do when the pressure to be one of the guys doesn't let up? You're scared. You're wet. You're shaking. I'm not shaking. And what about when things really get out of control? Then on Criss Cross, check this out. The guy's got a scheme to watch the big game. Oh, wish your brother, it's the game of the year! But when Dinah figures out what the boys are up to... You are the most selfish slime I have ever met! Time for scam number two. What do you want now? I want you to go to dance with me. Yeah, that's dancing, not... Hello? So you want to go to a dance? Can the guys pull off the ultimate scam without any casualties, or does someone get hurt? Ready or not, followed by Criss Cross, Saturday, June 12th, starting at 11, 10 Central, only on Showtime. Hi, this is Louie Anderson here in a big-time Hollywood editing suite, putting the finishing touches on my all-new Showtime special, Louie in St. Louis. Oh, definitely keep this bit. It's about room service, and this really happened to me. You know, I think people love room service stuff. So universal, you know, for the traveler. Hey, you ever notice how the room service people come into your room like they've been jumped before? <laughs> oh, yeah, this scene has to stay in, because I want people to know I'm one comic who's not afraid to ask tough questions. Why do people keep pens that don't work? That's another thing I'd like to know. When I'm at someone's house and I take a pen and it doesn't work, I break it. Oh, this will be good. This is like the up close and personal stuff about my family. Let's leave it in. It's controversial, but interesting and funny. Because I always thought had my dad smoke marijuana rather than drink, at least I could have discussed the beginning of time with him. How about a real juicy confession? I'm addicted to donuts. I love Look, I've got to finish up here, but don't miss my all-new deep-fried feel-good special, Louie in St. Louis, only on Showtime. Listen now, you got to make me look uh, thinner. Can you do that? Is there some kind of stretching you can do with the tape? Or... Louie in St. Louis premieres Saturday, June 12th, only on Showtime. In 1990, a terrible beauty was born, emerging from the masses of would-be champions to become the leader of them all. But leaders do get removed. A real worry this time for terrible Terry Norris when he takes on top knockout contender Troy Waters. Also, Maurice Blocker places his title on the line against the cagey, unbeaten Felix Trinidad. This will surely be a terrible night for more than one fighter. Saturday, June 19th, live, 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 Pacific, exclusively on Showtime. There are lots of self-help books that you can read to improve practically every aspect of your life. But frankly, this is the 90s. And why read when you can watch cable? And so we invite you to be enlightened with self-help cinema, where we believe watching movies can change your life. Today our subject is relationships, and we're going to be looking at movies on Showtime whose stars happen to be couples on screen and off. Let's begin with Far and Away. And if you've ever said to a date, gee, honey, where are you going? And he answered with the title of this film, you do well to jot down some of its vital dating tips. 
can we learn from this film about first impressions? They say people make up their minds about each other within 10 seconds of meeting. And while some of us opt for a little black dress and matching push-up bra, our heroine Nicole shows us the quickest way to really get under a guy's skin. Stand up where you are! Ow. Yes, as first impressions go, one that requires 52 stitches is something he won't easily forget. Of course, some women are just not comfortable forking a man until at least the third date. Oh! Once he's stuck on you, you want to move the relationship along as quickly as possible. Of course, introducing a date to your parents is always a nerve-wracking experience. But should your date do something truly embarrassing, like aiming a gun at your dad, don't make excuses for him. This is simply very bad manners. Of course... Oh! Any opportunity your date gives you to place him under house arrest can only work to your advantage. Think of the fun you can have dressing him up as your favorite Chippendale dancer. Obviously, you'll want to use this opportunity to really get to know him and be realistic about both his strengths and his shortcomings. Of course, a man is still bound to do things that just drive you insane. And if you've ever been out with a guy on a Saturday night who hasn't made reservations, you're sure to recognize this scene. There you are, wandering, starving, and not a restaurant in town will take you in. We haven't eaten for three days. Get out of here! Apparently, to avoid starvation, some women take rather drastic action. I hope you like scampi. They actually cook. This is just one of the shocking things we learn when we examine the film Bugsy, which nonetheless has some terrific dating tips, whether you're seeing one guy or an entire mob. For instance, how do you deal with truly criminal behavior, like a man who insists on reading at the table? Well, Annette shows us how without nagging or raising your voice, you can still affect change. Because when you've been slaving over a hot stove all day, you don't want your man to be focused on anything but your fine cuisine. Of course, even when you're not at the table, it can still be annoying when a man pays more attention to a newspaper than to you. And if you're not a smoker, here's another surefire technique. Tough love, but effective. Watching this film, you become convinced that Annette was Bugsy's true blue. It's only when we take a look at the marrying man that we realize what two-timer some guys can be. She's Bugsy Siegel's girl. Yes, it seems the entire time he was seeing Annette, Bugsy was sleeping with Kim Basinger. Men can't trust him, can't shoot him. Well, not usually. Anyway, join us next time on Self-Help Cinema when we take a look at Basic Instinct and learn all about picking Mr. Right. Learn more about relationships watching films featuring couples on screen and off. June 21st through 25th on Showtime. For some, it was a tropical paradise filled with seductive pleasures and secrets. You killed a fellow agent in the American service. To others, it was a white-hot prison, a place of exile. Explosions of flames, screams, the sharks. One man was hiding from his past. He's dead. Until it grabbed him by the throat. We require mainly the ship's papers and the two Chinese gentlemen who cheated us of our oil. The other was running from his enemies. I'm gonna let the wolves eat each other. But not quite fast enough. Who are you gonna find to kill me after I help you kill him? Suddenly, past and present converge. You got something, don't you? That's why they're all here. In a blaze of retribution. Give it to them. They kill me the minute bad. George C. Scott, William Peterson, in the Showtime original movie, Kurosawa. Premiering Sunday, June 27th at 9, 8 central.
She looks like a nun. I'm a penguin! She sounds like a nun. By the power invested in me, I announce this ready to eat. Come in. She acts like a nun. I know this woman, and she ain't no nun. She's actually Dolores Van Cartier. A Reno lounge singer who's gone from being a wannabe star performer to an on-the-run star witness hiding in a convent. She's in danger and stuck with all of these women in this convent. This stuff is terrible. It tastes like a lifestyle which is far away from her own. There are three vows every nun must accept. The vow of poverty, mm. the vow of obedience, mm -hmm. and the vow of chastity. I am out of here. She is probably the opposite of what a nun would be. Red 23. Sure. Mm -hmm. How do you look? And she's tough. Oh, cool. Nice. Cool. She's abroad. Young man, take your foot down off that stool. I have a seat. She's streetwise. We had a hooker living next door called Buckwheat Bertha, who would... Sister Mary Clarence, could I have a word with you? And she's a bad influence. So the mother superior finds a suitable punishment for a woman of Dolores' talents. You will join the choir. We're terrible. The choir? I mean, I, have you heard them? It's going to be hell. Tell me about it. The choir is kind of the catalyst for, for the development of the relationships in the movie. Are you always this cheerful? I can't help it. I've always been upbeat, optimistic, perky. Even as a child, my mother used to say, that girl is pure sunshine. She'll either grow up to be a nun or a stewardess. Coffee? <laughs> We're thinking more like Vegas, you know, get some butts in the seats. It's about the relationship between different kinds of people, you know, and what they can bring to each other. Sister Act, premiering July 11th, exclusively on Showtime. Three easy steps to a hit Broadway play. Right then, aren't we bloodily stagger? One, start with a solid script. Sardine! 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 Two, hire a confident director. Like a band playing on as the Titanic sank. And three, add lots of big name stars in their underwear. <laughs> Carol Burnett, Michael Caine, Nicolette Sheridan, Christopher Reeve, Julie Haggerty, Mary Lou Henner, and John Ritter. That's far. That's, that's the theater. <laughs> That's right. The noise is off. Premiering Friday on Showtime. He was sent on a journey. What's my cover? You're going in there as who you are. An American Indian federal officer. To a land where time stands still. They're your own people, aren't they? They are not my people. Where he will uncover mysteries of the past and the secrets buried within himself. You had yourself a vision. Val Kilmer, Sam Shepard, and Graham Greene in Thunderheart. Premiering this month on Showtime. Tears and triumph, passion and pathos. The story of Ike and Tina Turner is a new movie. What's love got to do with it? Starring Larry Fishburne and Angela Bassett. I'm not Tina. I'm just hoping to portray the essence of her as honestly, you know, as I can. Showtime takes you on the set to meet the star of this remarkable film and its legendary subject. Just like to hit the stage and let it all happen at one time because sometimes if they're really wild and the heart starts to go. A, a rising star in her most challenging role and Tina Turner, more candid than you have ever known her. So I walked in being submissive to a man that was a star and that wanted to be a star. He wrote the songs, it was his band, everything was his. I cared about Ike Turner. Her dedication and commitment and sincerity and just giving it all she's got, that just inspires me. Come on the set for Tina, Tears to Triumph, the making of What's Love Got to Do With It. June 15th, exclusively on Showtime. What can you see this Showtime weekend? Tonight at 8, see Tony Goldwyn in the Showtime original movie, Taking the Heat. Followed by a Showtime comedy exclusive, Jeff Foxworthy, Check Your Neck. And then, Eye of the Tiger. 
Next Saturday at 8, see Pauly Shore in the Showtime exclusive Encino Man, followed by a Showtime comedy exclusive, Louis Anderson, Louis in St. Louis, and then Emily's Dance, A Red Shoe Diary. And Sunday at 8.40, see a Showtime championship boxing report, followed by Tom Cruise and Nicole Kidman in the Showtime exclusive Far and Away, and then on Showtime Late Night, Illusions. See it all this Showtime weekend. The following exclusive movie is brought to you by Showtime. Unedited and commercial free.